Like I was, I used to be at New York Entertainment, and Chappelle was there, Jeff Ross was there, Jay Moore was there. Like we were all managed by yeah. Barry Katz. Like, and that's just like going from nowhere to ending up there in New York. It's a New York City comic, you know, because I started on Long Island. Yeah, and then you know, ending up with Barry Katz, who had like you know all, and everybody was just young, and we just we didn't know where the, this thing was going. Yeah. Chappelle was from D.C. Uh, Rogan was there. He was managed by somebody else, but he was at the same club, the Boston Comedy Club. So everybody, you know. So, uh, so, damn, I, f- I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Well, you were talking about the sketches. The sketches. So then, so the guy from who used to manage with Barry started running this other club. And he called me one day. And because he knew me from when he was with Barry, he was like, Hey, they're auditioning. They're looking for writers for a show in L.A. Do you want to audition? I said, how do I audition? He said, just do your stand-up. So I was like, all right. So that night, I went to the club. There was a bunch of us. Godfrey was there, too. Shit. And we all did our stand-up. Then he hit me up later. said, she liked you. Here's a number. Or she called me. And then she's like, do you have any sketches? And then I had those sketches. And I was like, yeah. She's like, uh, so I sent her, I, I had three written out and some other ideas I picked. And I filled them out. I wrote them all at night. Damn. And then sent them to her. And she's like, all right, you, you got the job. The job's in LA. And uh, I flew to LA in like the January of that year and wrote on that show for like three months. Then it got canceled. But then I was like, I'm going to stay here. Damn. And I was like, I was in a car with my friend who's also from New York, who also got a writing job on a competing show. Right. And we was driving around and uh, the sh- my show got canceled. I think his still was still going on. Mob Deep was playing and they, they were saying scared money don't make money. And then that hit me. Because my show was canceled, but I had this money that I never had before. So I could go back to New York, keep doing stand-up, and, like, add my stand-up money on top of that. But then that song, that line, scared money don't make money, what it meant to me was, like, stay in L.A., and even though you don't know where your next writing job is going to come from, I feel like you could get another writing job. And if you try to save your money by going back to New York where you'll definitely be able to do make money doing stand up then it's scared money don't make money so put your money where your mouth is yeah. and spend some money to make some money so that's when I didn't even have my own apartment yet when the show was canceled I was staying at a friend's house so that's when after that song I just got my own apartment and stayed here and continued to like getting right jobs on shows. That being said, I want to talk today about Botanic Tonics Feel Free. It's an absolute game changer, guys. For me, anytime I start a podcast or anytime I want to go out but I don't want that hangover and you just need that social lubricant kind of to take that edge off, this is my go-to choice. It is one of those things that gives me a clean energy boost without the jitters. Once again, a social lift without the hangover and focus enhancement without the crash. Check it out today. You get $40 off plus free shipping when you use the code BTYS. Hit the link in the bio. Let's get back to it. 